Hi, this is Dr. Justin here, and today's talk is on elevated cholesterol. So some simple causes that cause elevated cholesterol. Well, should we be concerned about elevated cholesterol in the first place? Well, yes and no. Um, the Mr. Fit study and the Framingham Heart Study, these are people that have just taken cholesterol across different standard deviation or bell curves, all the way from 150 to over 320. And what they found in these different cholesterol curves, especially the Framingham Heart Study, is they found that heart disease or heart attacks didn't even go up until about 320 and or above in regards to cholesterol. But they also found that right when you get in the low 100s, the mid to low 100s, that you actually increase dementia and, and cancer and Alzheimer's. So it's, it's a seesaw. So you want to look at it not as cholesterol is good or bad, is what's causing it to go low and what's causing it to go high. Well, again, we do have some genetic predisposition. There's a small percent of the population that will get uh, a condition called hypercholesterolemia, which is they just make excess of cholesterol. And you'll know that early on because you'll see cholesterol through the roof, four, five, six, seven hundred, and it'll just always be that high. And that's something that you really want to be careful of. Make sure you do get a pharmaceutical intervention for that. But for the great majority of the population, cholesterol can be controlled. One of the greatest risk factors and one of the greatest stimulators of cholesterol production is going to be insulin. Insulin is a hormone that's produced when we eat carbohydrate. And it's even produced higher when we consume excessive carbohydrate, especially refined carbohydrate. And we eventually develop a condition called insulin resistance where our cells become numb to the insulin because we've eaten so much. So insulin is going to stimulate Insulin is going to stimulate high cholesterol. Now, I've seen multiple people in my practice that are vegan with super high levels of cholesterol, over 300. Well, patients ask, well, how can this be? How can this happen? You only get cholesterol from animal sources. And this is true, but the problem is 90% of the cholesterol that is in our body is actually made by our body. And the food we take in, the cholesterol foods we take in, have very little effect on this. So I notice these vegan diets, they're eating vegan junk food. All right, excess corn, excess refined grains, excess sugar, excess fruit, even the higher glycemic fruits. And this is stimulating insulin, which is stimulating a certain enzyme called hemomethylglutarate CoA reductase, HMG CoA reductase. This is the same enzyme that statin drugs are inhibiting. All right, so we actually stimulate those by eating refined foods, eating insulin producing foods. Next inflammation of any kind, whether it be a parasitic infection, whether it be excess iron, whether it be some type of um, lack of sleep, these are all stressors that can actually cause our cholesterol to go up because think of cholesterol as a band-aid. The more inflamed we are, whether it be due to an infection, whether it be due to excess iron, iron is a produces tons of oxidative stress. Think of it as like rusting in the inside of your arterial wall. This produces stress on your body and your body is saying, we need to lay down some band-aids to cover up this stress and inflammation. Kind of like if you cut your hand, you'd want to put a band-aid over that to cover it up. Our body has that same type of intuition. It wants to lay band-aids down in the arterial walls, and it does that through cholesterol. Cholesterol is a healing material, and the last thing you want to do is, is cut cholesterol out of your diet. All of your hormones are made from cholesterol. Your brain is 70% cholesterol. Cholesterol is actually an antioxidant. We need it to exist. If we did not have cholesterol, we would die right now. So we, we want to not be under the misconception that cholesterol is bad. We want to look at the excessive levels. And then we want to ask ourselves why. Because cholesterol is going to be going up due to refined sugar, inflammation, high iron, and infection. And it's also going to be going up due to low thyroid function. For many years, in the 70s and 80s, people were being treated with high cholesterol with thyroid hormone. So we know thyroid hormone can affect cholesterol levels. There's actually a thyroid receptor, thyroid hormone receptor on LDL cholesterol. So thyroid hormone is really, very, very important for healthy cholesterol levels. And I'm not saying that people should just be given a thyroid hormone that have high LDL cholesterol or high cholesterol, but we should look at the thyroid and say, why is the thyroid um, low. Why is the thyroid not functioning properly and actually fix it from the underlying nutritional, physiological, biochemical underlying causes? So again, recapping everything, cholesterol is going to be elevated due to insulin, oxidative stress such as high levels of iron and various infections and stress on the body, 
lack of sleep. We see it in men that aren't getting much sleep. Let's say they have a newborn child. Cholesterol will go up because their sleep is severely impaired. So those stressors can increase cholesterol and a low thyroid function can actually increase cholesterol as well. Another little tidbit, like we mentioned, insulin, high insulin actually increases cholesterol. A hormone called glucagon, which is the, the opposite end of the seesaw of insulin, can actually decrease cholesterol. And what foods increase glucagon, you may ask? Protein foods. So grass-fed meat, good, good healthy uh, proteins and fats are actually going to increase glucagon. I know you're thinking, well, hey, but you know, there's, there's cholesterol in there. Remember what I said, 90% of cholesterol is produced by the body. And it's the hormones that the food that we eat elicits a hormone response. Insulin, carbohydrate, refined foods, that's going to cause your body to make more cholesterol. If we eat high quality proteins and, and some fats too, that's actually going to decrease our body's ability to make cholesterol as well. Uh, I hope this uh, conversation and this talk here helped and you'll be able to look at your cholesterol in a new perspective. Thanks. Have a great day.